Hello, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to stay relaxed when you're performing or you're practicing. This is mainly geared towards singers, but pianists and violinists, oboists, everyone can take um, these little massages um, into any part of their day, whether it's taking a test, um, whether it's performing in front of your parents, or whether it's performing on a big stage. So you're going to want to sit up very tall, nice and straight with a good posture like you were about to play the piano or about to sing. It means the back of your neck is long and your chin is level with the floor. Your both feet are flat on the ground, no crossing your legs. And this will, um, you should maintain this posture the entire time. Um, your neck and your jaw and your tongue create a lot of tension in your body and that can help um, keep your uh, adrenaline levels high. You want to relax these muscles so that you feel a little bit more comfortable. So to start, you want to, you want to work on big muscle groups before you work on small muscle groups. So your neck muscles are in use way more than your jaw muscles. So you want to take your hand like this and pull your head over to the side with your ear towards your shoulder. You wanna hold this for about 10 seconds and then very gently release, no slingshots, okay? You wanna do it to the, op the opposite side as well, keeping this side of your neck long and keeping a light pressure on the side of your head while you do it. And after you release that, you wanna to go towards your jaw and your face muscles. And these are really easy to um, massage because you can do it without your fingers. So um, have you ever made lots of um, silly faces in the mirror? That's going to help relax your jaw. So I want you to open your mouth as wide as you can. And then scrunch your face up like this. And you do it five or six more times, OK? And that's going to loosen up all of these muscles in your face, in your forehead, in your nose, in your jaw, in your tongue area, okay? After that, I want you to move your jaw around like this, okay? Not too much, not too crazy, but you definitely want to move your jaw like this so that it unhinges a little bit more than it does when you're speaking, right? After you've done that, I want to take your fingertips massage your jaw hinge just a little bit. You might notice that these muscles are very tender, so you don't be too rough, very gently. And all you have to do is just massage the muscles like so, okay? As you do this, you might notice that it feels as if, um, you know, you're hurting yourself. You're not. It's just you never really touch your muscles in your face like this before. So like if you're touching your toes for the first time in 10 years, your hamstrings might feel a little tight. So you wanna go very slowly and very gently. After you've done this for a couple of minutes, once you take your thumbs and gently massage your tongue, which is right underneath your chin. And you'll notice that these muscles are also tight. Because your tongue is one of the most strongest, one of the strongest muscles in your body, you wanna keep in mind that it is also very stubborn. So, in order to tell it what you want it to do, rather than it doing whatever it wants, like getting really tight in your mouth when you're nervous, or sticking to the roof of your mouth um, without your knowledge, things like that, you want to kind of loosen it up so it's a little tired, okay? And to make it tired, I want you to make a really silly face for 30 seconds, and that face is opening your jaw as wide as you can, and sticking your tongue out as far as you can, and it's going to look like this. And I want you to hold that face for 30 seconds. Then I want you to relax your tongue in your mouth for 10. Then tongue out for 30, in for 10, tongue out for 30, in for 10. You will be amazed at how much that relaxes your tongue and your jaw and your neck. And then you can go on to a practice session for singing and feel immediately more um, flexible with your voice, you can sit down to the piano, you can feel a little bit more confident and you're not so tight and tense like this and maybe you're not gritting your jaw. Um, and if you're starting to take a test, you can do these little massages. What this does is it releases some endorphins, it gives you something to do, something to think about and gets everything nice and relaxed.